another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2! We are back! Why are we back? Because mods are in the game, and now the game is freaking fun. I love it. And it's, it's, oh, it's just so much fun. I love it. So, anyway, we're going to be into this because we have some really cool mods to showcase. Um, there's, I don't know what happened. There's been a, a breakthrough in the modding community, and they are now able to put loads of different types of things in the game. I'm also noticing we are at one and a half stars, and I have, there are no dinosaurs in this park. What is going on? Oh no, that's right, yeah, we got the winning Stegosaur. Yeah, from our last Battle Royale. Oh, okay, he's he's over there enjoying it. Stego 001, I think it, it is. That, that guy, he, don't, don't mess with him. Yeah, kill you. But we got one, two, three, four, five. Five incubators worth of new creatures. And a lot of them are things that we've never seen in mods before. So this is going to be really cool to showcase them. So first off, we're going to go off with Taurovasaurus, I think. Is it Taurovasaurus? Well, we're finding out now. Yes. Gorgeous. I don't actually know much about Taurovasaurus, but look at it there. Yes. Beautiful and big and... Kind of like a Megalosaurus there, but it seems to be maybe like the Kakarodontosaur or like Giga um, sort of uh, animation there. But you know, it, it's just great to even have it. There'll be somebody out there that is a fan of uh, Taurovasaurus, and there it is for your pleasure. Also, I think these, um, these Jurassic hatcheries have beeps to them. There it is. That's the beep. So now that we have like 5 million of them, we're going to hear beeping a lot, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, the next one is Tyranno Titan. Now, fingers crossed, I haven't tested this. So hoping that they're all okay. We're going to find out. <laughs> oh, he's big and he's chunky. Now, this is the Giganotosaurus animation. Uh, I deliberately haven't changed any of the skins on these guys because... You know, I mean, I just kind of want to see this is what the, the mod makers wanted to see of these sorts of dinosaurs. Or at least their base skin. Or maybe it is random. I'm really not too sure. But another pair of giant theropods. And finally, now, fingers crossed this is actually a mod. Because all of a sudden I looked at it and it had loads of skins. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, so this is probably the new mod I put on. But it's not a separate new species. But it is basically new species because it's in the uh, the skin thing instead of anywhere else so let's have a look is it a new t-rex fingers crossed it might be there's gonna be an oh 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 yes it is and it's got a ginormous reed head <laughs> oh let's have a look at you let's have a look yes look at that Looks like it would be on one of those, I don't know, weird speckles of Tarvasaur. Oh my god, what it looks <laughs> oh, It's brilliant when it looks straight at you. <laughs> oh wow, but you know what? If you uh, we, we get the T-Rex from Jurassic Park in all of the medias. It, it's everywhere, it doesn't matter. It's film, game, book, God knows. It's usually looking like the Jurassic Park T-Rex. So it's quite nice to have something that looks a little bit different. Although its feet are absolutely tiny. I don't know why its feet are tiny, but uh, there you go. So I'm uh, moving on to something completely different. Oh, wow, the tusks are already breaking through. We have, uh, I'm assuming, possibly what's supposed to be a Brachiosaurus. Judging by the way the, um, the camera is getting way more in shot than we're actually seeing. Huh. And it's moving very slow, like a Brachiosaurus would. I don't know if its tusks are being elongated. I don't think so. So this isn't a mammoth. It's, yeah, we don't have a woolly mammoth, which is probably one of the first mods I think we've ever had was put in. It was like a woolly mammoth or a Therizinosaurus. And that was in the first game. And you can see the camera is very central at the top. We got low health. Who's on low health? Tyranno Titan starved to death. Oh my god. Wow, okay, uh, hold on. We need to um, we need to put some food in here. Jesus. Anyway, we have Aeona Raptor, which was, if I remember correctly, a Cheetah-san's favorite dinosaur, one of the uh, more primitive uh, dinosaurs. Oh, yes. Ooh, I quite like this one. Oh, and we're, we're gone. No more dead dinosaurs, that's good. 
So this looks like it could be Herarasaurus or something like that. Panicking, of course, because there's a giant mammothy mastodon thing over there. And uh, I, I love the way they run. <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason as to where they're running, but they're, they're going for it. Yes. Okay, so what else we got? Um, we're going here. Argentinosaurus. Yes, the next one. The biggest uh, sauropod to ever exist. And here it isn't. Wow! I think the mods are putting in new music for these dinosaurs! Because I do not recognize that at all. Maybe I've just never released them with the music or pay attention. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, Argentinosaurus with a massive trunk-like neck. Ah, oh, gorgeous. I don't know whether it stood like that. I'm assuming it did. Uh, I think the T-Rex is a little bit sky packed. But look at the speed on this thing. This is normal speed. Why would we triple that by three times? Jesus, God, it's running like a man, man. <laughs> it's also panicking. We've only got one dead thing now. Uh, the T-Rex has eaten some of it. The Mastodon now is kind of like, oh, no, we're all kind of getting on together. This is fantastic. What kind of world would you have seen a T-Rex and a Mastodon living together? A Jurassic world. <laughs> Can we get a... Yeah. <laughs> He's a funny kind of guy. And if none of that has tickled your fancy, you have the biggest rodent ever. I know, a giant capybara. <laughs> It's funny, there's always like um, a prehistoric, bigger version of something. I'm assuming these might be Minmies, or I don't think we have a small um, Ceratopsid that would fit it. I think it's probably like a Minmi or something, but look at them! They're adorable! What are these called? The Joseph Artagasia. Gazia. I'm sure that there's definitely a better way of saying it, but you know, we have giant capybaras in the game. What more could you want? You got everything now. This is, you know, since mods were put in, oh, like they came back. Oh God. Oh God. Three on low health. What's on low health? The capybaras are on low health. Oh no. Oh no. They're all going to die. They're all going to die. Why? Why are you dead already? Capybara. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the other one's fine. But for some odd reason... Oh, the health is... Oh, it needs water. Whoa! The health drops so quick! If they don't get what they need, it's for some odd reason. Some of these animals are starting out, like, literally dying. And <laughs> Well then, um, you know what we could have done to avoid all this? Is gone in sandbox setting and then had them, you know, not starved or dehydrate. That would have worked. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's look at this one. Concavenator. A classic. A favorite. Definitely. Whoa. Oh, the colorings on that look amazing. Oh, oh it's similar to the other one. Oh, oh I love it. It kind of runs stupid, though. <laughs> but wow. But it looks so cool when it's not running like a complete idiot. Run around until you run out of stamina and then you can start walking. There we go. Now you're panicking, but you look good at the same time. I love the the quills on the back of the head. The coloring on the um, on the top of the head as well. That looks so nice. Will you turn towards me? Yes, there we go. Oh, that looks awesome. Now, it's not the first time we've had Concave and Edit in the Jurassic franchise. It was first, I think, introduced in Jurassic World Alive. I think that's where we first properly saw it. Although it was kind of like a, a thing in the background of Fallen Kingdom. It was like a diorama. But, oh, that looks gorgeous. And that, this is it, right? I mean, we could wait for months and months and months for, you know, Jurassic World Evolution to officially give us a DLC that will maybe give us one of these dinosaurs. And when they do... It, you know, it, there's a chance it might have a unique animation, you know, there'll be something nice about it. Or, you can just like, and the mods can just give us something that looks amazing like that right now. So, yes, I think I'd rather have one of those. <laughs> On to our next batch, we have a bigger, I'm assuming a Brachiosaur sort of wannabe, the Colombian Mammoth. I think this was one of the biggest, if not the Woolly Mammoth was. I feel like uh, the Colombian Mastodon 
So I think I said Colombian mammoth, didn't I? Colombian mastodon was the biggest. Oh, it's, it's, it's iconic, really. And the best way to see it is, well, to know what it is, or, you know, what is the Colombian uh, mastodon, is that it's hairless and has a giant forehead. <laughs> it has these two enormous humps on the top of its head. With this being a Brachiosaurus or, you know, some other giant sauropod um, rig, is that for a start, we're zooming into it, you know, it's giant uh, head humps <laughs> for its like anchor point, but also that it won't attack anything. And that's that's something that's a bit unfortunate when it comes to Jurassic World Evolution 2 is that the sauropods don't have any attacks. They just get attacked. And that is such a shame. Uh, but we're going to the, what's this, the Christatosaurus? Kind of just looks like a Suchomimus. But, you know, and I'm sure there was that. Oh, wow, they are bright. Oh, that is green. Green as can be. Woo. Woo. I feel like I, that's not its default color. I wonder, I wonder what that was. But yeah, it's basically just, it's, it's like a more spiky edge Lord Sukumimus. I don't know how much went into changing the model from Sukumimus, because as far as I remember, that's, that's kind of the same as Sukumimus looked. I mean, they've just added some extra geometry for the spikes on the top that have just, you know, stuck in and then they've uh, clamped onto the rig and whatever. But yeah, kind of not one of the most exciting of the mods. But, you know, if you like Sukumimus and you just wanted a different looking one, there you have it. Here we have the Regaliceratops, which hopefully is, you know, maybe a stronger Ceratopsid because all of them in Jurassic World Evolution 2 never seem to fare too well when it comes to battles. But, you know, something that's not too big, most of the Ceratopsians are quite big. Even Styracosaurus is quite a big uh, Ceratopsid. Whereas this one seems to be more of a small one. And I don't know whether this is going to... Um, is it the Minmi animation set or something? It possibly might not be. Maybe it is a Styracosaurus. And I just... I've, it's been so long since I've played it. Probably like half a year since I've properly played through Jurassic World Evolution 2. But, you know, it's, it's you could have this with a, you know, in a sa in the same enclosure as Triceratops. And you could say it's like a little baby uh, Triceratops and maybe make a petting zoo. So next we have the Saltosaurus. Um, if I remember anything about this one, it had definitely something to do with its backs. It had like spiky bits. But oh, that <laughs> the head's very interesting. He's got a turkey giblets. Meh. Hmm. Interesting. I do wonder how much the moderators, like how much of them they make these models or they just take it from a, uh, like a website like Turbo Squid or, or something like that. And then they, they just make it work inside of Jurassic World Evolution. Still kind of curious how that works, but yes, look at you. Uh, it doesn't really kind of work. There's some weird uh, like rigging going on here where it looks like they forgot to put these nodules um, like skin binded to the actual model itself and they just clamped them onto the, uh, the, the rig or the bone there. So it's kind of moving separately to the actual skin, which is a bit odd. But uh, yeah, maybe it'll be fixed in a patch. But you know, it's a new species. Maybe I, I wouldn't have that one, that's for sure. Now, here we go. Shang Tungosaurus, one of the biggest, oh my God, hadrosaurs. Uh, to have ever walked the earth, and here it is. I, this is something that if I feel Frontier did, they would 100% give this a unique animation where it could stomp on something like concave in there. You know, a theropod that's this, that sort of size, it could easily just like bat it out the way or run over it even, you know. Maybe the concave in tries to hunt it, and then it gets trampled in the, in the you know, the ensuing uh, running away or escapade, the stampede of them or whatever. That would be quite cool. Maybe make um, an animation where there has to be more than one of them and then they can, you know, it can get stuck between the two and it get trampled or something like that. Again, um, you know, I'm just, just giving Frontier loads of ideas. Probably won't do any of them though. Is it, is it this one? No. No, that's not it. Hold on. No. Uh, there it is. I give them loads of ideas. Uh, Probably won't use any of them. <laughs> and here we have little Baba and Kylosaurids. I don't actually know what it is, though. What are you? It begins with a T, if I remember correctly. 
It is a Tarsia. A, a, a Tarsia? <laughs> oh my god, they are so green. And what is probably called a Tarsia. I don't know. It's, it's a smaller ankylosaur. I've, I haven't got... I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't got Wikipedia on the side. And I'm just like reading it out while I'm while a new dinosaur comes out and telling you weird facts about it. I won't lie to you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and we have a Dan Tang Long. Ooh. 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 I like this thing. Yes. I love the coloring. I love the markings. And this is an Allosaur. I recognize that animation set of it coming outside of the, um... Ooh! Ooh! This is great! I think a lot of these dinosaurs have multiple different colorings. I think this one might have it as well. But if it's not, this is nice. Very strange to see. You know, you've got stripes, you've got spots, you've got a uh, different, like, a different pattern for its face. Ooh! And its eye as well. The fact that it's, it's white and not dark. Ooh. Oh god, oh bless that baby little triceratops thing, the regular ceratops, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, also, uh, you know, because we've got a mod where we can put anything anywhere, I was like, well, you know, if anybody gets hungry, there is a shark there. <laughs> so they could go for it, if they wanted to. But let's have a look. We got the Masa Masia Casaurus. Um, one of the only ones to replace a little compy. <laughs> but you see, it's got like a little bit of a, an underbite there on the bottom. I think it's bigger than the compi. Oh, me I mean, it makes sounds like a compi, right? So maybe they figured out a way to scale up the compi rig. Ooh, that would be cool if these are actual compies. I mean, they make the same sorts of sounds, but at the same time, they're way, way bigger. I mean, a compi doesn't even, like, come above the grass. So, yeah, no idea, but they're having a grand old time running around. So, if dinosaurs aren't your forte, and megafauna is, here you go. A giant fluffy sloth. I was going to say mammoth again. I'm, 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 I'm fixated on the mammoth. I want to see a mammoth. Hold on, let me just delete some of these trees so we can get a, a better view. Crash the game. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yes. Game crash. Did not like me deleting the tree. <laughs> All right. So, we're back. This time, we're not going to touch any of the trees. Just in case, you never know. Maybe it's this guy. Maybe when it got to a certain point and then it like became out of the, the, this, the, what do you call it? The hatchery. Then maybe it, it broke the game. But no, no, we're good. So <laughs> oh, wow. This looks so good. Look at the fur, man. Wow. Oh, man. I, I want to see if this thing fights. I feel like... There's no animation in Jurassic World Evolution at the moment that would allow this thing to rear up on its its hind legs and to swipe or anything like that. It would be so cool if it did. But you know, again, like like I said, Frontier, we could be waiting ages for anything like this to come out, like a Cenozoic update. It probably will at some point. I, I have a feeling. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've got Aquatics. We've got even um, Dimetrodon now in the game. It wouldn't be too hard pushed, I think, to find something like this, like uh, megafauna or even giant insects to start coming in. Because that's that's what people want. I've been here since 2015, 14, God knows. And I've seen it all. I've seen what people like in the Jurassic Park builders, Jurassic World, the games and stuff like that. They want to see the rest of the prehistoric life. And it's just whether or not Universal gives it the green light. I don't know. Hopefully they will. God knows. Anyway, Miragaya now, uh, which is the Stegosaurus. Oh, Stegosauridia, I think. Oh, that looks great. Now, this looks like something you might be able to see in a, in a DLC. It looks kind of polished. It is a bit out there with the spikes, how close they are together. Again, we've got an official release of this in Jurassic World Alive. So they've, you know, Universal have definitely given this species the green light. But look at how long that neck is. It looks for all the world to be a stegosaur on diet pillars. And yes, there it is. So we have one more of these uh, giant sort of carnivores. I think it is the Tor Torvosaurus. Maybe I've accidentally made two of these. Although one died. Oh, no. Yep, this is completely new. Oh, my God. There's way more than I thought there was going to be. Interesting. Do we not release one of these? I feel like we released one of these. Correct! 
back. Um, it's very similar with the way the head looks. Oh, look, the capybara and like the mastodon sort of thing. Oh, bless. Are you the only? I bet you're the only one of your species left. No, there's two. There's two. We have a breeding couple of giant capybaras. And like I said, if dinosaurs on your thing, what about like a hippo? <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty sure we could make a five-star park without any dinosaurs. You could just have these giant hippos, you know, giant sloths. I wouldn't, is this really a giant hippo? I don't think this is a giant hippo. It's quite small, actually. It's probably like a, a modified hippo from Planet Zoo. I wouldn't be surprised. I think this one is the Hexaprotodon. Uh, the difference with this is it actually has teeth, like big teeth. Um, like sharp teeth. Not, not, you know, and hippos have teeth. They have like, sort of giant teeth. But this one has, I don't know, it, it definitely looks different. And it's actually just one by itself, which is very interesting. You see that? It's like, it's got bananas for teeth. It's ginormous. You know, you give the little sniff of the guy. So I don't know what animation this one is, but there is only one of them. And the final one. And I, th I can't remember who makes these ones, but they have a certain style to them because the skins and the models just look so good. It's like Jagged Fang or something like that, I think. Uh, sorry if it isn't Jagged Fang. <laughs> I'm just like giving somebody else credit there. But no, definitely look it out. Nexus website, have a look at this. Oh, what? Oh my God, you look so good. Like the pattern is mwah, just on point. It's beautiful. Have we got a- Alien fiends. No, that's not the one. Yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> beautiful looking model there you got spots you got stripes even like the skull there it looks gorgeous i feel like whoever this is they do a lot of like paleo edited versions of dinosaurs that are more accurate and finally again if you weren't done with not dinosaurs or you wanted more not dinosaurs you've got this thing another brachiosaurus one um i don't know where they get this maybe it is for, like from a website like turbo squid if they do make it themselves it's brilliant um, this is the Platyobelodon, I think it is. I first saw this in Jurassic Park Builder. I think I called it Sausage Nose. <laughs> Although it looked more, more sausage-like in Jurassic Park Builder than it does here. Now it kind of just looks like a shovel. Or shovel face. I don't know. Anyway, again, another elephant, another thing. I mean, because these are all sauropods, you can put them in this same enclosure. The only downside is, unless they've changed the requirements, you can't have too many of them. Because if you do, you're basically your whole landmass, your whole island or whatever you're able to, your building constraints are all just going to be for these guys. Because they take a lot um, of comfort. They take a lot of forest, a lot of space. Um, I think we've turned off comfort at the moment, so that's why you can't see it. But there you have it. Load! These are all the mods that have been released uh, as new species and maybe a couple of changes like the T-Rex uh, for now. But I would not be surprised if we end up having to come back here in a week and we see all new things. But what would a gaming beaver video be without a battle royale? Yeah, so we're now gonna go in and change them all to attack each other. Now, I don't know whether we're actually gonna see some combat here. We might, it's, it's hard to say because these are all modded separate species, whether or not their animations are gonna link correctly with each other. I've also turned on their hunger and thirst. So, you know, they're gonna want to come to the water to drink or they're gonna want to eat each other. Now, there are T-Rexes here. So things like the, uh, the Platybelodon, is it Platy? Platybelodon, yeah, I was right. Okay, Platybelodon. Yeah, and the T-Rex will fight each other. So, oh! Oh, the T-Rex already taking on Tyranno Titan there. Wow, we got two of the Detangalongs uh, taking on each other. And we've also got a fight between two Trovosauruses. Okay, that's two species that are fighting each other. Probably best that, you know, you, you don't kill your own species. Oh, oh, we got something weird going on because it's already lying down. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> like I said, these are like new species. So a lot of the animations may work they may not it's really hard to say but so far there has only been one death and that was a tyranno titan but there is another one. Oh, oh, okay um we have a saltosaurus who has starved to death <laughs> okay there goes oh we got some more deaths another saltosaurus 
the man, the bloody Belladons are dying. I think we got five. We have got so many deaths. Is this all the elephants? What is going on here? No! One of the last capybaras has, like, dehydrated to death. Uh, this one's kind of okay. So it looks like if they started with, like, low um, hunger or low thirst, when I turned it back on, oh, they kept that. And those ones that kept it have died. No, the little piggy has starved to death. <laughs> oh, it's so sad when it's an animal. Oh, I don't like you. I did this in Planet Zoo once where we did a battle royal, and it just didn't feel right. <laughs> and it's even, it's exactly the same when it's in here with actual animals. Well, I did just say that these guys were doing great for staying out of any battles, but now they're, oh, 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 they're, they're glitching out, and I think... Did you take some damage there? Did you take some damage? Or are you just gonna, like, oh no, you're taking damage. There you go. Okay. Oh, oh, that one actually worked, though. What's this? We got another fight over here. No! <laughs> Dang Tlong! Was it Detang Long? Killed by a Torovosaurus, who's now got. Wait, what? What is that symbol? Fight victory? Oh, wow, I've never seen that. That must be in the new update, right? That can't be a mod. We do, however, have a lot of herbivores just enjoying life and not getting into any battles. These sloths are also kind of staying out of it, just enjoying their own merry time. The same with the Shangtungosaurus. Oh, oh, we've got a T-Rex. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. Hold on. A T-Rex is trying to hunt the Platyabelodon, I think. Or at least it, it, it was trying to give it a good old sh a shot, but um, I think the T-Rex has to try and... Oh, there it is! T-Rex taking... Oh, oh, that looked brilliant! Like the oh, the it took a while to line that up. But T-Rex against the elephant. Damn, that looked awesome. He's like, yes, I did that. I bit you. Me. <laughs> It kind of looked okay there. Just whatever you do with the T-Rex, do not look at it front on. Because, um, you might die of laughter. Okay, what's this other one? What you, we got another T-Rex. I, I think this is probably also hunting. Oh, it's hunting a Lambiosaurus! Woo! Oh, that looked kind of cool, actually. I mean, it was still the, the classic, like, you know, sort of tearing the head and flipping it over. But it looked like the T-Rex bit the back and then went for the neck. You know, a little bit of a change is all right. And we've just had a, a Aeonoraptor die. No. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be alive, dammit. The Concavenators are, are kind of staying out of it. As well as, uh, oh, but the, I mean, how long will they be able to stay out of it? Oh, Mimic guy, you're taken up by another T-Rex. These guys are holding no punches. Oh, oh, a T-Rex against. Oh, of course, it's dead, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, these T-Rexes are not stopping. No, not the green sugamimus -y thing. Uh, d oh, yeah, look, there it is, the symbol. So you get to see who has actually won. Although it's kind of weirdly glitching. Fight victory. So it is now an infamy level three savage. Um, are you? Oh, God, is it going to take on the Argentinosaurus? Oh, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, oh, a Lambiosaurus being taken on by Dang Kong Long. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it just sort of folded into itself. That was brilliant. <laughs> Attacked by a black hole, apparently. Okay. Using special abilities. Oh, no! The Shangtung. Oh, God, there's a lot dying now. Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, another creasing thing. He's got the power to contort dinosaurs' bodies without even touching them and break all their bones. He's like that thing from Stranger Things. Good God. Fatally wounded. No, the Platia Baladon could not survive, survive the hit and goes down. Here we go. We got the green edge lord against the red edge lord. And uh, if I was a betting man, I'd definitely bet on the T-Rex. But we'll see how this one goes. Or are they just going to circle each other? Look at look at those tiny feet. How could you be intimidated by tiny feet? Ah, oh, don't don't look at the feet. No, he's very insensitive. Very he's very uh, sensitive about the feet. So if you look at the feet, it will kill you. And I think that's what it did. No, Regiceratops thing. Oh look, there's people in the background. There. Ooh, but we still have our little piggy. You never know. Maybe this one will be the winner. Argentinosaurus just taking it in its stride there. Oh, Tarovanator against. No, what's it doing with the mammoth? 
Oh, wow, these guys really have something on with them. The T-Rex kind of works because it is a T-Rex. Uh, but with the, um, the separate species themselves, like this guy, they just don't seem to be able to work because I think uh, maybe the animations are hard baked into the proper dinosaurs, or at least at the moment, the mods uh, haven't managed to work that. And there you go, another bite from, <laughs> from the Taroninator against this, uh, what, what's this called? An Anacus Averanenis. Or something like that. Yes, it's getting a bit corpsey in here. Uh, let, let's take care of that, shall we? Ooh! Whoa, we got a Shantungosaurus, like, standing up against a T-Rex? What? No way! Oh my god, if they if they attacked each other, that would have been brilliant. Like, you just swiped him in the head or something. I mean, a Shantungosaurus is a massive boy. It just, like, slammed into a T-Rex. Could kill it break ribs. I mean, you think if you're trying to, like, control something like that and it just swings out, it could definitely break bones and stuff. Oh, it just won't let it live. It keeps on attacking him now. <laughs> you must fight the force field. You can do it. Oh, wait, what are you... Oh, no. What are you taking on now? Do I want to know? Is it this Lambiosaurus? Oh, God, no, don't contort him. <laughs> I think he is. I think he's trying to get rid of him. Oh, what's this? Oh, no! Are you... Wait, did you... Did you kill something? Oh! You killed something! Whoa! Whoa, I've never seen that before! That was amazing! If you have your own sort of thingy... Oh, my God, that would be brilliant if you do! I don't know why we got launched to space, though, but we did. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for! Like, I had so they could fight back. It killed this thing... The uh, Taurovasaurus. I don't know how. Maybe that's a new animation that they've put in. Oh, is the black hole teleportation dinosaur versus itself? Nothing can compare against it, so it's having to kill itself. Oh, there it goes. There's the power breaking the hips, launching it into the ground. And they barely take any damage from it. But hey, oh, there you go. Again, Concavenator um, actually is dying. It's starving. It, they're all panicking and starving. Yeah, none of them are doing really that great. They're staying out of the fight, but everything is also staying out of their stomachs. So unless everything dies soon, they're gonna die. And that's right, you kill this thing when there's a shark you could easy jump to and get. Yeah, what about you guys? Are you <laughs> the little compy things? Are any of you dead? I think you're too small. I love the underbite. Look at that! These could be guys. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Look at him. How could you not think that thing is cute? Wait, wait, is it having a fight with something? No, the concavenate is killing it. Does that mean it gets food? Just after I say these guys are staying out of the fight. Oh, the Aorta Raptor. Also killing it. They're all dying. No, I called it. We killed to a naked. Oh my god, they, they've literally all just died. What just happened? Concavenate died. No, the capybara! No, capybara died! Oh my god, no! It all went to hell so fast for them! I think they just needed enough of the big things to die, and then the little things could have their little cup, and they could attack and have a fight. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, Shantanosaurus against Miragaya? What? Did <laughs> so they just kill it? <laughs> oh my god! You crazy! What are you doing? He's killed two things now, have you? Savage infamy level three. Two fights, two kills. Good god. I wouldn't be surprised if it kills a T-Rex at this rate. Oh, there you go. Using uh, it's a force field powers on a goat there to kill it. Brilliant. Concavenate is still not doing too good. Uh, oh god, what's this thing taking on? I think that was the Megatherium. I think he's one to attack. But because the Mega Theorem, yeah. Oh, there it goes. No. Can it survive? Oh, it survived one hit, though. That's all right. I haven't really seen much of you, Aeonoraptor. Are there many of you left? What's this? <gasps> oh, T Rex versus the Black Hole Asaurus. Oh, oh, it actually survives. And it's just like, <laughs> just like a register. It's just like, yeah. This is great. Oh, it's actually attacking the T Rex. Man. I think this is because this is kind of an Allosaurus. Oh, it takes another hit. It looks like it's actually a fair fight between the two. Oh, it 
won! 59 health against 53! It actually beat the T-Rex! Damn! Okay, T-Rex against Torovasaurus. Well, I think since even the Shantungasaurus could easy kill this thing, the T-Rex shouldn't have a problem. In fact, it hasn't taken a single bite yet. And this could be the finish. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, it actually took a bite. That's amazing. Um, I feel like it's probably going to die in the next hit, though. Unless, yeah, that's, that's a win. Win for the T-Rex. And that thing died. Oh, my God. Are there any left of these greens? No, that's it. The last of the greens are dead. The Christatosaurus. All gone. And then this guy is basically left with 4% health. So, oh, no, he's recovering. Oh, well, T-Rex will finish him off later. Have all the Miragayas died? No, we've still got at least one, two, three... Four, four Mirigayas. Our dinosaur roster limit is now from 65 down to 27. Or technically 26. Because the Stegosaur isn't in this battle. No, that was, was that the last one? The Masiacosaurus. Oh, they looked so adorable. I mean, you know what? I'm glad I got to see a close-up of that thing because it looked adorable before the massacre of them happened. No, oh, the hippo's hungry. I haven't seen any of the other little hippos, actually. Have, have they been staying out of it? There's only one left, so I'm assuming they've stayed out of it. The concavenators have all almost starved to death. There is only two left with 42% and 50% health. They've somehow managed to find a little bit of paradise where they weren't panicking anywhere. And they've eaten something. And we've got a Shantungosaurus intimidating, uh, intimidating a Datang Long. All of the Lambiosauruses bit the dust pretty quick. But this guy, this guy, something about him. Like how this has got a dominance of 1,443, and the other one's like 105, 105. So this one, Jesus, hasn't even had any battles, but it's very dominant. Oh, wait, what's this? No, the T-Rex killed the Shantungosaurus. Oh, damn. Was that like a unique animation or something? The way he sort of went it and like shook it and stuff? That was... I swear, like, even in Montosaurus just dies similar to how, like, a parrot is where it just chucks it. Or maybe it doesn't. <gasps> That's what they should do with updates, is just put in some cool new, new unique animations for old dinosaurs. And then it's just more of a surprise when you see it. But that is a shame. I thought it was going to go all the way, but it just couldn't take on the T-Rex. Oh, no, another mirror guy you're taken out by a T-Rex. These guys must be brutal. Infamy level four and five. I guess this one's higher because it has had no losses. And somehow the Argentinosaurus is still surviving even though it really needs food. It also might crash the game if I put some more trees in, so I'll not touch anything. Oh, I thought it was dead, <laughs> but it's actually not dead. Oh, oh, the T-Rex killed one of the black hole ones. No, bless it. Were you the one that lost? Oh, no, you've got a perfect record. That's why you killed. The other one might die to it. So it'll be interesting to see those two in the end, I think. Dominance, 216,000. Good God. This one's only got 3,000. And it looks like Argentinosaurus might be laying down to die. Bless it. Argentinosaurus and the last of the Colombian mammoths bite the dust. And if it wasn't bad enough, the only two remaining concavenators are now attacking each other? No idea why, but okay. Oh, they've poisoned the other one. Oh no. Oh, but now there's a there's a timer for the health loss. Okay, that makes sense. Because before, it was like, oh, they will just die. <laughs> Look at that mastodon. What is going on? <laughs> My legs went a bit gammy. Wee. Regular ceratops is out of there, as well as the little Fanorius. Oh my god, we got a five-star park. We have literally no amenities. How is this happening? Okay, uh, oh, a star dinosaur apparently is Taurophosaur. What? It's not even one of the biggest things. What's a T-Rex? Wait, a T-Rex is 1,266. Why is it saying that that's a star dinosaur? You're a liar. Ooh, Tarovanita killed. I th was that the last one? <gasps> They're gone. The Datanglongs are gone. Oh. Now, I don't think the Concavenators can actually have a fight with the large carnivores like T-Rex. So if the T-Rexes survive and the Concavenators survive, although saying that, you've got these two T-Rexes now uh, intimidating this Concavenator. <laughs> I don't think they really... Oh, you should probably start running. 
Okay. Oh no, god. No, 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 oh wait, no, wait no. it's gonna attack it! Oh it died! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> if I was like okay with it, I would have legged it, but no, he's like, I got this! <laughs> <laughs> died! Go on then, Turks, you can eat it. Go on. You've earned that one. It just seems like every time I say something, the reverse happens. And all these little combi things are doing well. Massacred. Oh, the Concavenator can't kill the T-Rex. T-Rex kills Concavenator. <laughs> and then, oh, God, no. The T-Rexes just are dominating and absolutely decimating the rest of the carnivorous population. The only one that can sort of... Uh, oh, yeah, there's two of them. There's a small Taurovasaur and a large Taurovasaur. I thought there was the same one. Why is it taking me like an hour to notice this? Well... Oh! 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 I am absolutely floored. That was the winning T-Rex! That had a perfect score! 2,225,000 2, dominance! Attack! 2,539! In comparison to this one, it's like 109! 30 defense. Maybe that's what swung it. But still, the difference! 2,000 in comparison to 100! That Tarovan, it just killed it! I was about ready to be like, all right, the T-Rex have won. What just happened there? All right, the large Tarovasaur. Yep, yeah, well, yeah, who didn't see that one coming? Completely crippled that Ankylosaur thing. So that's the last one of those, huh? Well, we went from five stars to now one and a bit stars, basically. This could be it. Is it the end for Cocavenator? Yep, it is. The weird force field attackers. And down it goes. Cocavenator out of there. Whoa, I want to have a look at you. You've lost one, you've won two, you've killed two. Your dominance is 2,000, which is way better than the T-Rexes, I think. Oh, well, I think the mirror guy is dead. Oh, yep. Uh, down that goes. <laughs> but are you enough to stand up to a tiny little carnivore? I don't know. Your, your, your friend didn't do so hard. Oh, and the final mirror guy goes down to the bigger Taurovasaurus. I need to see my beautiful enclosure. Where's that T-Rex? Are we, are we going down? Yes, we're going down. Yes. Although with the Giga, we were at fighting height in the movie. So what the heck's going on there? <laughs> it's way too big. Oh, there's people inside. That's very interesting. I don't know what he's doing. He's like, hey, take a selfie with that random dude <laughs> by the door. Okay, could this be it? The final battle for the T-Rex maybe against a tiny Tarovasaur. No, an instant kill on this one. Only two of the little ones left. Oh, is, is this a final battle between the T-Rex and the bigger Tarovasaur? Or is it a territorial dispute? Oh, but this is the final one. Who will win? An actual dinosaur from the game? Or a special... Oh, a separate species! And it does win! Oh my god! No! <laughs> it's like a fish that went belly up. And the T-Rex dies. Oh my god. Torvosaurus won. Because there was loads of little ones. And then two big ones. That means there is only... Two small ones and one big one, but they're basically the same species, so we'll call it there. But if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. Of course, when more mods come out, we'll of course showcase them. And also, I kind of actually maybe might want to do a playthrough now. Like a regular, like a park or a challenge or something like that, because now we've got so many new species in the game... Why wouldn't I not want to play? It looks so much fun, you know? I, and it's been ages since I've actually done a legit playthrough. Maybe we'll live stream it. Maybe we'll do a video series. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.